So, without further ado, let's start a new game of control. Some common options as yeah, so they give you the option to change it again. Uh yeah, that's fine. I think that's all fine. Start new game. And we will sit back and uh let's see some cutscenes, I'm going to assume. New bureau employees often get lost in the shifting corridors of the holdest house. When in doubt, look for green direction signs and consult the map by pressing up on the keypad. So yeah, I put all the um, sub goals, uh, Twitch Tiltify donation campaigns back on. Um, and again, with the webcam, I might move that around depending on how subtitles come up. Because we haven't actually seen anyone talking yet, then we don't we don't know how it'll play out. But if mini tool tips are going to go on the bottom of the screen, then this maybe need to move them. Weirder than usual. Can't and we've got Jesse as the main character. You called me. So here I am. Never seen this game. What is it about? It's about a whole host of weird and wonderful things, I'm assuming. But otherwise, I haven't heard a lot about it myself. I just I know, know that people I like it a lot. Sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room and the poster. The picture is something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie. What is it called? The prison movie. There's lots of prison the movies. A cell. And the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible. But we're all transfixed. But it's oh yes, just starting life. the game today. Something uh, to have not started it before. The truth. They're lying to us. But the game is on sale and so is the DLC. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes, something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. We're here in the Federal Bureau of Control. Why did you bring me here? I honestly did not expect the game to sort of lead into gameplay like this straight away. Hello? But, I see it. Yeah. But what okay. is it? I can feel it. It resonates. Things Hello. You show me, my friend. I forget. It's all in my head. There's no you, right? Hmm. So I have a feeling Jessie's going to start talking to herself quite a lot. Where's everybody? I need someone to point me in the right direction. So I may accidentally talk over her at some points, but. That's just a, a natural thing about it, unfortunately. Uh, where is everyone? What is this? Oh, I have to hold. Okay. Prohibited items reminder. Open the collectible. Ooh. Okay. Sneak peeks of what's to come, I guess. Correspondence. So, certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited weapons. Unauthorized weapons. Pages, laptops, smartwatches, smartphones, smart gaming devices, anything smart. Number two pencils. Any objects considered iconic representations of an archetypal concept. Rubber ducks and ketchup bottles. All material under Bureau investigation is to be brought in through private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your supervisor immediately. So that's like a pretty standard way to, uh, like, prohibit stuff coming in, but... Any objects considered iconic representations of an archetypal concept? That's an interesting one. 
Uh, Walter Demon says I'm good, thanks. I didn't work today. I actually get to watch stream. Yeah, we're well, glad to have you here. And you as well, Ollie. Thanks for joining both of you guys. Uh, how have you been today? Very hot today, i got to say. Like, we've mentioned it before about this room being the hottest room in our house. And I'm wearing shorts and I'm thinking maybe I need to open the window because it's quite hot, got to say. Ooh, magical opening doors. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. Can we get a bit... Aha! Hmm. And you are... Bureau Expenditure. So, staffing, surveillance, data center initiative, construction, office equipment, janitorial costs, mold removal, HQ, livability costs. For cost breakdown, see page five. Okay. There's no alien containment equipment listed there, but... Yeah. So, this game, I'm led to believe, is kind of like Stranger Things, in that there's a... You're, you're very blurry. Why are you so... Okay. I don't know if anyone else saw the texture change on that. Yeah. Huh. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be part of the the uniqueness of the building. But that is definitely loading in textures. So far away and then back in. So we are playing on the original PlayStation 4 and... Uh, it's recommended to play this on a PlayStation 4 Pro, at least. And I do think they are offering a PlayStation 5 upgrade uh, and Xbox Series X upgrade when it eventually comes out. Yeah, that is very noticeable texture popping. I mean, you wouldn't be able to tell if it wasn't actual faces, but yeah. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. Oh, no open doors? I'm like a bird walking into a glass window. Hmm. I uh, don't have to know if I have to work tomorrow, uh, so I'm sorry if you'll miss your stream again. I'll make sure to drop by and say hello like always. Hey, that's fine. Just dropping by and saying hello is enough, honestly. Like, we don't expect any more than that, so thank you for dropping by. And yeah, like like Ollie said, don't stress it at all. Have to say hi when you get a chance on stream, whether it's for us or for Ollie. So, attention all blanks. A shark in his, although a secure, mission to following. Hey, there we go. We got an emote thanks to Remus's subscription. Thank you for that. Thank you for Pride Strong. And that means, yes, we have hit 15 subscribers. Mm, uh, well, it says it on the thing, but it doesn't say it on my Twitch stats thing. So maybe I need to reload that. If I close that down... Uh, and try opening it up again. What does that say? Thank you for Pride Strong, Remus. Uh, that was a very nice emote. Hmm. Not sure why it's saying only 14 out of 15 there. But yes, I have uh, officially hit that 15 out of 15 now, I think. So I will uh, shave my head. Bald? Maybe not bald, but maybe, you know, close enough. Like, skin, skin head, almost. Haircut, haircut, haircut. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure why Twitch is not recognizing that as number 15. Hmm. I might... Uh, I might have miscounted the subscribers. Yeah, Twitch is only saying 14, unfortunately. I don't know what's caused that, but... Yeah, I'll, I'll sort that out, I think. Oh, but thank you very much, Remus. Uh, do appreciate it. And yeah. I will shave my head. And, uh, I will work out why Twitch is not recognizing it the same way. Correspondence reminder, R4. So, R4 reports. Hello! As you all should know by now, the R4 reports are due by the end of the week. We're still waiting on them for a number of people. If you need an extension, please request the form R4E from your supervisor. If you think you're exempt from filing an R4, then you need to get written permission from your department chief saying that. So, remember, R4s are mandatory under section 75.2 of the employee manual. If your R4 requires interdepartmental claims, then please contact the appropriate department head, Dr. Darling, Ms. Marshall, Mr. Salvador, or Mr. Kirkland as needed. They'll be busy on Thursday in their annual policy review, so please schedule accordingly. Best your admin team. 
Now, why would they need to fill out... It reminds me of the the fetch quest in uh, The Witcher 3, Hello? where you get sent across all doing the different paperwork forms. It's just like, need to just cut through all the bullshit. We have a janitor. Hello, Mr. Janitor. Hello. Cutscene time. Is there someone who's not subbed right now in chat? I don't know. Maybe? Janitor's assistant. Ati. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. Is that the guy in the painting? Janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. Okay. They don't hire you. And in your hand on the helvet. Take them behind the sauna Yeah, this is gonna be in a code. Jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Welcome to the oldest house. Better than somebody with no face at all. Yes. Uh if you talk to yourself, don't be surprised when people comment on you talking to yourself. I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Okay, so same paintings? Yeah, probably the same painting. Alright, well, we're in the elevator. Uh, let's head wherever we need to go. The cell and the poster. I was cell 11 and the years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. The thing that crawled out. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Okay. Will you help? The game seemed kind of slow to Remus, and for now it does seem kind of slow. Well, you know, I'm happy to give a game a chance uh, following a slow start. So, if it's slow, then it's slow, but... How is the audio for you guys? Because it actually seems a bit quiet on my end. I might turn the volume back up to 100%. And uh, this gives me an opportunity to figure out what is going on with... Uh... What is going on with those sub points? Obviously, this is all like mood establishing credits, but I, yeah, I, I kind of get the mood already. I've seen like the pictures of people floating in the air and so on, so. Oh, yes, and apparently, this is from the same writers as Alan Wake. So that's all very weird and supernatural. Although, Alan Wake is more horror focused, and I'm not like a big horror fan. So there. It's quiet, but if I'm right, they are whispering, so maybe it's supposed to be quiet. I don't know. I can always turn the the audio back up because there's no reason not to have it like as loud as it needs to be. So let's turn that back up to 100. Ta -da. Okay. Did I lose you there for a moment? Uh, no, kind of. Mind. My baby brother, Dylan. 17 years since the men of this bureau took him. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we have a goal. So I don't have any clearance. So that's why I can't open that. Okay. But yeah, at least we know exactly what we're trying to do. It is quiet, but if I'm right, they're supposed to be whispering. Yeah, so I can hear music now, which I couldn't hear before. So I think I'm, I'm glad I turned it back up to 100%. Correspondence, do not disturb. Non-official. Oh, they've got official, non-official, sensitive. Barbara, I am not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day. For the rest of the week, I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one. Trench. Hmm. Investigate the noise in the director's... Open sesame. Oh, he shot himself. Shit, of course. Shit, shit. So if we toggle the map. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Oh. Really? Wow, that's a cool map. So she's getting spoken to by the Shimmers. All right. Well, let's pick up the gun. Also, is that that wasn't blood? Broadcasting from the pyramid. Ah, <laughs> gun sword intentionally left blank. And there goes the poster. Objects of power. 
can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Okay, so they had real, real live video playing for that. You must choose to be the chosen one. Usually, you don't get a choice when you're the chosen one. So I like that difference there. And it looks like they've got a persistent white dot in the screen as well. Yeah, they, they thought about their motion thing. Stream looks a bit unstable on your end. Well, OBS is not dropping any frames. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what would be causing it. Is it maybe because we're streaming a little bit too high quality, but not enough bitrate? Perhaps. Hmm, seems to have resolved itself. Cool. Keep me updated on any uh, problems that you guys have. Because uh, that's always important for me to know about. Now, do I auto snap? Yeah. Hello. Triangles melee. Interesting. Usually it's square. Hmm. The same gun. It is the same gun. Control the gun or the house? It's a cool gun, I gotta say. Reminds me of the guns in Looper. Okay. Now I have a gun. So you can fire the service weapon. Hello. Low ammo. How do you reload? Oh, it reloads automatically over time. Interesting. The service weapon regenerates ammunition automatically when not in use. What are we what are these? What's these glowy things for? Did I ever explain why I started working so much? Uh, no, I don't think you did, Water Demon. Um, but, yeah, feel free to explain. Um, I'm sure there is a very good reason for it. Alright, so, headshots. Hmm. I don't suppose there's a, a Dead Space style aim for their limbs and uh, stop them from moving towards you. And yeah, it looks like going for body shots might be the best thing here because usually these types of games do have a uh, like a aim assist for head snaps. But if they're not going to do anything other than come towards me menacingly. Ah, there we go. They get their own guns. It's stuttering during active movement. Okay. Um, right. I'm not sure what would be the cause of that. I guess it is because we're doing it at 1080p. Hmm. Can I change that live? I don't think I can. Enemies drop health elements when damaged. Collect health elements to restore health. Oh, that's not actually... Okay. Congratulations, director. Okay. Something was coming. This threat. An attack. <clears throat> Duty as director. Keep the bureau safe. Did you hear that? Voices in your head? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. The gun's you moving. Got a happy. mind of its own. Happy to be here. Okay. So, if the stream is stuttering during outside. active movement, I it's think now is probably a good time to uh, try and fix that if possible. So, let's just pause that now. So, uh, let's see. I have a feeling it's because it's at 1080p for 3,500 bit rate. Now, I can't change the resolution, unfortunately, but I can change the bitrate. So let's bump it up to the maximum that Twitch usually allows at 6,000. Whoa. So this game 
does have some issues performance wise i think i mentioned on the original playstation 4 but they did patch it to make it better but yeah oh wow been shaken uh water demon says i can get my permit now because i finished driver's ed but because of covid i can't go take the test Oof. uh so i started working to buy a car oh well uh good luck to you in your endeavors to buy a car um what is that Wow. So it's like they have the CG model of Jesse in game and then it's overlaid with the real life actress, I guess. That was horror. Oh god. Hello. This guard. Enemies drop health elements when damaged. Oh, of course, yeah. Those are the blue dots that I missed before. Okay. And they just disappear. Alright, well. Introduced to the game. So, his guards. Uh, this is director trench photograph. So much is expected from the director, the responsibility, the privilege. And his research. Hmm. The Bureau has many internal security personnel. The Hiss was quick to take advantage of this fact. Hiss guards used the standard issue bullpup rifles they carried prior to corruption, while the armored guards carry pump-action shotguns. They have no observed paranatural abilities, with the exception that certain Hiss guards are protected by shielding of dense Hiss resonance, capable of stopping bullets. Is this shielding a result of prolonged Hiss corruption? Does the Hiss mature in organic hosts over time? More data is needed. Did the Hiss target individuals of combat training? Does the Hiss have that level of cognizance? Does it utilize hosts for tasks they are best suited to do? Combat trained hosts are reserved for combat. These are all questions for later, though it's obvious that corrupted individuals retain knowledge on the use of their weapons. By Emily Pope, on the orders of director Jesse Faden. Faden. And this is the service weapon. So, no unique procedures required. The object's form is variable. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians to blank. The subject must be only be bound by individuals seeking the role of director, I'm assuming. The object will determine whether they are suitable. If rejected, the applicant is terminated. This process is dictated by something, though the criteria is unknown. The object was discovered inside the oldest house in the room that is now used as the director's office. The popular hypothesis, blank, many forms throughout history. Mjolnir, Excalibur, Varanustra, all weapons that blank of their wielders. So require courage, bravery etc of their wielders if objects of power are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious then this may be the original manifestation of that event if that is the case see dr day darling presentation 11.1 and multimedia oh wow objects oh this is the video that was playing can cause or be results of awe's alternate <laughs> world events intrusions upon the perceived reality a side note Remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. I wonder how they're going to insert the effects in here. In our prime candidate program, come out of that Russian roulette a winner, and you, <laughs> you're it. You're Lose a winner, baby. And you're well fucked. Literally. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. They must have had so much fun doing these kinds of, like, informational videos. Ah, oh, and yes, if only Teslas were cheap. Alright, do I have clearance now? Oh, okay. Well, nothing else to do but proceed further into the Bureau. And this, this is very much a game that's going to be all about exploring and reading, unfortunately. So, uh, we have to keep going. So, uh, approved terminology reminder. So, reminder drafting any public facing material. While pinning any notifications of death related to the Willow AWE, please adhere to the following guidelines. In the service of his or her country, regret, proud pride will be remembered. 
Avoid Alaska scissors, blood, bleeding, loss, and apologies. Yeah. Uh, never apologize because Americans think that admits fault. 